Miller comes to this defining moment with impressive credentials. When the 1992 Olympic Games ended, Shannon came home to a hero's welcome in Edmond, Oklahoma. After all, no U.S. gymnast, male or female, had ever won five medals in a non-boycott Olympics. Suddenly, all eyes were on Shannon Miller. I'm used to being an underdog, you know, up until the Olympics. And now it's just a different role coming into a competition, being on top. After having missed the Olympic all-around gold by just 12 thousandths of a point, Shannon entered the 1993 Worlds as the favorite. And in one of the closest all-around competitions in the history of the sport, she won the gold by seven thousandths of a point. Today, at 17, Shannon aspires to what many believe is an improbable goal, competing at the 1996 Olympic Games. If she's to realize her dream in Atlanta, she will have to defy the odds of a prolonged career in an unforgiving sport. Since her unprecedented success, she's had to contend with nagging injuries and a growth spurt of more than four inches. But Shannon believes that she can beat the odds at age 19. There's only two years left until the Olympics. My thought it'd be, you know, long, hard training, which it is, but not quite as bad as I thought. It's a lot of fun still. Mostly what keeps me hanging in there is that it's going to be in the U.S., and I think that's going to be really great. Two volleyball.